Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. This, I was going to say sign, the age of Aquarius. This is your March readings, okay, dudes and dudettes. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Aquarius. And again, it's for March, but they're always timeless. You have your attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. <clears throat> Some of you are practicing law of attraction. You're manifesting. Some of you have sort of stopped and paused and taken a moment to reflect. Some of you are taking a moment to soak in something. It's this like taking time to recognize. And I think it could have been something that was right in front of your face too because you see how they're smelling it. And for some of you, I think that there's this energy of it was there all along or something. I don't know. You know, this is, she's like sort of, there's this thing about smell too. Some of you or another person, there's this thing about wanting to smell someone. So this could be someone you didn't meet yet. You know, that's a big turn on, right? Smell. And so imagine if you haven't met this person yet. It's this craving to like smell them. <clears throat> what do they smell like? You know, it's like, it's, mm, I bet they want to sniff you all right, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. There is this ridiculously deep connection that's happening here that is different from anything that you've ever experienced, right? It's not your typical dating relationship vibe. I can feel it by channeling this. It doesn't feel like that. It feels super different. And this may be where courting is involved, which is funny because it's coming up nonstop in the cards. It's happening in people's real lives. You know, they're like saying, yeah, I'm actually going to start courting. And it's like, what does that mean? What is the difference between courting and dating? I mean, imagine like when you watch shows like Bridgerton and, and you watch, you know, like Pride and Prejudice and stuff, Jane Austen. They didn't date back then. What they did was is that they found someone that they were interested in and they sort of got to know them on this friendship level really is what it is and there was no like technically there's not supposed to be any sex involved and there was not they were dating they were literally getting to know each other to see if this was my match and they sort of fell in love with the friend it's a crazy fucking energy but it's very different than dating in this world and some of you might feel like if you crave that old-fashioned love i know i do you ask anybody that's watched me long enough, I tell you guys this all the time. My next relationship, I'm gonna be courted. Buy me jars of jam. Buy me books, read to me. I don't wanna Netflix and chill. I don't wanna go on a date on Friday night and come home and fuck. Like, my energy is beyond that muggle of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, this getting to know each other, as you reveal, reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, and it's like this feeling of... It's the unbreakable bond. That's what I heard in my head, the unbreakable bond. You have an unbreakable bond with someone very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Some of you have options and choices in front of you. And you are this other person, okay? And the universe is saying to you, what the fuck do you want? You choose, you want her or her, you want him or him. Do you want this job or that job? What timeline do you want is what they're asking. In 2022, this is the year of feasting, okay? This is the year we are going to fucking manifest the shit we want. We're not gonna settle. We're not gonna repeat cycles. We're not going to waste time of our own and others. This is the fucking year to prosper. It's the year to shine, but it's also the year to feast. So they're saying, what do you want? The lovers see how that rushes in quickly knight of wands this is sexual energy this is sexual energy be careful that you're not swayed by sexual energy when people's body parts throb it becomes very hard to think with this head when this one's throbbing and taking all the attention there and this is why courting is such a big deal because there's no sexual connection there's the yearning to want to fuck which to me is delicious, that buildup and that yearning of it, right? The consummation comes later with the vow of marriage. But there's this sense of like, for some of you, you may have found that when you slept with someone too soon, it fucks shit up. Because you're intermixing this energy and shit and people start to get 
to catch feelings and they're really not catching feelings of love they're catching feelings of attachment and and, and the sex it's 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 just all of the warm and fuzzies of the of the dick and and, and the, the vajay jay and shit you know what i'm saying it's it's not love they may feel that this is pure physical attraction that's my point someone here you have to be careful of right the lovers is a decision in love be careful not to choose what is instant gratification don't choose just what makes your 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 fucking fangs throb they're also saying you better hurry the fuck up and decide you have two cards that ask you to decide what the fuck you want they want you to choose six of wands they want you to choose and depending on the timeline you choose you have a soulmate or a, or a part a counterpart for each level that you're at vibrationally so the higher you ascend and vibrate you're going to be attracting in different things right different opportunities different partners you know and from there you choose what you want to do and every choice you make has this domino effect right it has this like butterfly effect to it so this energy here is saying, what do you want to choose? You want this that's right in front of you. That's tempting, but it's not everything that you want in the end. Or are you going to wait? Look at that wheel of fortune, destiny, fate, fortune and luck sudden change this is a very auspicious card meaning it's good luck <sighs> queen of pentacles there is a feminine energy here who's alone so she's single this energy here might feel left out if you look at her she kind of looks a little sad looking down at this pentacle and she's saying like i have this pentacle i have this 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 energy i have this thing that I want to give to the one that deserves it and it's almost like sitting there waiting and questioning even saying like well maybe I don't know I don't know and she's sort of like looking at it and going mm, maybe I'm gonna be a nun <sighs> I and mean, if you're dramatic with a Capricorn moon like me as the things we say see slowly but surely knight of pentacles so someone is coming in to meet her and match her and offer her something too and, and it may be taking a lot longer. Why? Because they're saying here, fuck a hurry up. <laughs> As we say in Hawaii, fuck a, fuck a hurry up. What you doing? What you waiting on? What you, what you still deciding? What, what, why can't you choose? Make up your mind. And it's been, someone here has been unsure. I'm not sure. It could be between you and another person, three of pentacles work. Something with work really shifts here. Someone could get a new job. Someone here has gotten a raise. Someone here, well, this, well, they want to partner up with someone, past life soulmate. How are you going to know it's a past life soulmate? Because there's a ridiculous connection that you feel with a person that you don't feel with anybody else. And it's like a stranger that you recognize. And there's just this uncanny, strange connection that you feel it's so strong. And so for some of you, there is this connection with a person that feels old it's not new it's old it's ancient hence why you feel like you want to be courted and that old fashioned old style love four of swords is surrender someone here is also asking for guidance and assistance but it but it don't matter because they, they keep making the wrong choice <laughs> it's ego eagle says i know better i know that the signs and says this and i know my gut says this and i know that it says but i'm gonna do what i want to do it's ego someone here is you know is masculine energy most likely although some of you feminines be doing this shit too but i'm feeling a masculine and masculine energy here is they're out of alignment they're out of alignment because they just keep choosing the lower vibe timeline here Ten of Pentacles, this is abundance. This is financial abundance. This is the raise some of you may have gotten in this new job offer. Um, some of you are getting a check out of the blue, money coming in that you didn't expect. But this is also a committed relationship. Someone here has the choice, screaming in the cards, they have a choice of one or the other. 
and and it really is so fucking crazy how that's the actual energy that's screaming in, in the cards and, and in the collective it's like having a choice it, it's gonna come down to two or maybe three for some of you all right, let me just get some of these Oracle cards out and we're going to get into your extended, okay? And if you want to purchase that, click on that link below. It's that upside down triangle on the bottom right. You will see there's a link there and oh, soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. There's someone here that you feel this tie to that you can't let go of. And you would know it too because it's like you can't breathe without them. And you, it, It's that weird feeling. And not that like you, you're codependent or anything, but it's like, you ever have someone in your life where like when they're not there, it makes such a huge difference. You know that they're supposed to be there. And that's this. This person occupies this space in your life that no one else can fill. And it also is this agreement and this partnership, right? The soul contract. Like we agreed that in this life we would do something together. And it is that past life, the energy that you guys feel. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the extended. It will be in the March extended readings, okay, on my website. Um, also on my website, you may pre-order my I Am Love bracelet. It's a remixed one, but look at that Celtic knot heart on here. Oh my God, honey, look at that. And then it's half amethyst, half rose quartz, of course. So these are pre-orders for next month in March, but also on my website, you may pre-order my daughter's second bracelet, which is the Cherry Blossom Sakuda Flower Agate Beads. And both pre-orders are to be mailed out sometime next month in March. And also in that description box below, there is a Patreon link, honey. And that Patreon link allows you to follow me there. And I do erotic tower readings there. And they're different from the ones you rent in these extendeds on my website. It's a whole nother beast on Patreon, honey. Okay, so click the link below. Follow me there. There's a whole bunch there. There's like eight or nine readings there already. And also, um, what else was I supposed to say? Oh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Be careful of the fraudulent accounts on both. They're pretending to be me. I only have one on each. I don't got no backup. I don't got no second. I don't got no third. XI underscore Missy underscore XI, okay? And thank you for your likes and your shares and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'm a fellow Aqua Aquarius gang gang. I'll see you in your extended. Love you.